Welcome to Empire Luxury, where grandeur meets innovation. Imagine a place where the opulence of the Mediterranean coast is fused with Californian charm, where every turn in the hallway is a passage through time and technology. That's the hallmark of the estates, once owned by none other than Elon Musk, the maestro of modern day innovation. Imagine, if you will, a breathtaking abode, nestled in Bel Air, with a price tag that could make your eyes water a cool $35 million. But don't be swayed by the number. It's not just about the price. It's about the essence of a home that could inspire poets. This is no ordinary residence. It's a testament to legacy, a place that whispers tales of grandeur with each breeze that sweeps through its opulent halls. Now, take a moment, close your eyes, picture a ballroom with ceilings soaring 20 feet high, echoing with the laughter of bygone soirees, or a wine cellar that rivals the very vineyards of Tuscany. And yet, the man behind SpaceX, behind the very cars that silently glide our streets, Musk himself, opts for the simplicity of a life unencumbered by the weight of physical possessions. But let's indulge our curiosity and step into the shoes of a billionaire, if only for a moment. The mansion Musk chose as a homestead wasn't just brick and mortar. It was a canvas of history painted by an aristocrat with a penchant for the extraordinary, a home whose previous inhabitants included a countess and an heir to the gold rush fortune. These walls have seen power, elegance, and perhaps a touch of rebellion. A private canyon, a reservoir, these are not mere amenities, but chapters in a story of extravagance that only a select few can narrate. And then, in the middle of this fairy tale, we find an astonishing decision, a vow to own nothing. Yes, as you delve into this video, if the splendor of this empire captivates you, consider joining our Empire Luxury family by subscribing. Together, we'll uncover the secrets behind the most luxurious estates around the globe. The peculiar part of this narrative is that the home once listed for $100 million found its way into Musk's portfolio for significantly less. It's a reflection not just of a market, but of a man's desire to redefine what luxury means. Now, while you're enraptured by the grandeur of Musk's former dwellings, let's not overlook his six additional homes, strategically aligned like a constellation over Los Angeles. For most, a single mansion would be a crowning achievement, but for Musk, it was merely a neighborhood. This decision wasn't born out of mere whimsy. It was a bulwark against an invasion of privacy, a fortress of solitude for a mind that never stops innovating. Yet, even fortresses are meant to be abandoned when one's eyes are set on the stars. In a world where privacy is as precious as the finest diamonds, Musk's answer to unexpected visitors was as bold as it was unique. Acquire the surrounding battlements. Yes, he transformed his home into a bastion against intrusion, purchasing the neighboring properties to create a buffer zone of tranquility. Yet, despite the sanctity of these walls, Musk decided to transition from a kingdom of plenty to a more Spartan lifestyle. He turned the page, leaving behind a chapter filled with architectural marvels each a jewel in the crown of Los Angeles' luxury real estate. And where does a man, who once orchestrated the symphony of such estates, lay his head now? In a twist as intriguing as his ventures into space, Musk has embraced the Lone Star State, Texas, where the vast sky mirrors his boundless ambition. The shift to Texas isn't just about proximity to his life's work with Tesla and SpaceX, it's a strategic move. In Texas, he's free to create, to innovate, without the constraints of California's golden shackles. As the sun sets over the horizon, casting a golden hue over the sumptuous landscape of Bel Air, we are reminded of the impermanence of even the grandest of empires. In our last segment, we whispered through the corridors of Elon Musk's once magnificent bastions of privacy and luxury. But as dusk falls and we continue our journey, we delve deeper into the philosophy that drives a man who could have anything to choose something as radical as owning almost nothing. Our episode continues with a pivot towards the lesser known, yet equally fascinating, aspects of Musk's life at home. The SpaceX CEO, the mind behind Tesla, 
and the visionary pushing the boundaries of what's possible on Earth and beyond, is also a man who seeks the solace of simplicity. His former homes, each a fortress in its own right, were not mere places of rest, but incubators for ideas that could leap from the cradle of civilization to the very edges of our universe. As Empire Luxury takes you through these now historic halls, imagine the discussions that bounced off these walls. These were not idle talks of weather and the mundanity of everyday life, but potent brainstorming sessions about colonizing Mars, about hyperloops, about creating a future that previous generations could only dream of in science fiction. It's in these living spaces that Musk might have envisioned the first drafts of a Martian colony. Or perhaps, over a quiet dinner in his expansive kitchen, he mulled over the concept of Neuralink, bridging the gap between brain and machine. The homes we explore today are more than just architectural triumphs. They are the silent witnesses to the germination of ideas that might one day revolutionize our world. Let us take you through the kitchens where technology meets gastronomy. One could imagine Musk experimenting with the latest culinary gadgets, perhaps a nod to his love for the innovative and the new. It's here, in the heart of the home, where ideas were nurtured over meals, where partnerships were forged over a glass of wine from the meticulously curated cellar. We venture outside, where the terraced gardens speak volumes of a man's desire to tame not just the physical world with exquisite landscaping, but the cosmic wilds as well. The outdoor terraces with infinity pools that reflect the endless skies might as well have served as a canvas for Musk's vision of space, the ultimate infinity to be explored. Yet, it's not just the opulence that strikes you, it's the functionality woven into every fiber of these homes. Each property, though steeped in luxury, also bears the mark of a utilitarian philosophy. Minimalist at heart, Musk's choice in furnishings and design often lean towards the practical, the sleek, the efficient. A home, no matter how grand, was never cluttered. Much like his vision for the future, clear, focused, and unburdened by the unnecessary. Even the artwork that adorned the walls was a testament to his love for science and art. A blend that speaks to the innovation and creativity at the core of all his endeavors. Original pieces that might have hung in these rooms weren't just decorations, but conversations with history and the future. A constant reminder of the legacy that one carries and the history one makes. The bedrooms, sanctuaries of solitude, were the breeding ground for dreams. It's within these very rooms that Musk may have woken from dreams of electric cars to turn them into a reality with Tesla. The soft hum of a not too distant future where sustainable energy is the norm and electric cars roam the streets might have been a lullaby for the tech titan. Musk's former residences, some of which boasted the most advanced home automation systems, were early adopters of the smart home revolution. Lights, climate, and security all bent to the will of the homeowner, anticipating needs before they were even expressed. It's this seamless integration of technology and living space that foreshadowed his ambitions to integrate life with technology on a global scale. In Musk's world, even the air one breathed was subject to purification systems, a nod to his commitment to a cleaner environment and his understanding of the subtle ways that our surroundings can influence our well-being and our thoughts. But Musk's luxury is not solely in the material. It is in the luxury of thought, the privilege of pursuing one's passions and curiosities. Each of these homes may have been a temporary port in the storm of creativity and leadership, but they served as a testament to the power of a mind unleashed. And as we cast our gaze to the horizon, to the future, what does a billionaire like Musk do after leaving such earthly thrones behind? He opts for a modular home near Boca Chica, where his dreams of space travel are slowly becoming reality. The juxtaposition of a man who once lived in palaces, now residing in a prefab home, is stark and powerful. It tells a story not of decline, but of ascendance from material wealth to the wealth of possibility. Musk's current minimalist lifestyle might seem at odds with the former splendor we've showcased today, but it is perhaps the most telling luxury of all, the freedom to redefine one's life, to prioritize aspirations over possessions, 
and to set one's sights on horizons that stretch well beyond the mere confines of Earth. This concludes our tour of the homes and the heart of one of the world's most enigmatic figures. Join us next time on Empire Luxury, where we will peel back the layers of another Titan sanctuary. Until then, we leave you with a question to ponder. What does luxury mean to you? Is it a sprawling estate, a flash of designer brands, or is it something more intangible, more boundless? A luxury of the mind, perhaps as limitless as the universe itself? Remember to subscribe and thank you for allowing us to bring into your homes the stories of these extraordinary estates.